Hello everyone, this is the Cucumber. Okay, so, as you may or may not know, uh, there's a couple of life-changing events right now happening with me. Um, I'm going to have a second child, and I actually need some time for myself. So, this is a pre-recording of a new Cities in Motion sort of series that I will post somewhere in August. Um while I am doing other things. That means the channel's not going to be empty. It's not going to be lack, lacking of any updates or anything like that because I will be doing this while I am busy. Uh, this means that uh, I would love you guys to comment and all that, uh, but I probably won't be responding immediately as I, as I usually do uh, because I'm busy. So there we go. With that out of the way, you now know the premises of uh, this particular series, and um, let's, um, let's pick a, the usual logo. We are going to Ulm, well not literally, but um, in the game. <laughs> the Ulm. The Ulm transit. There we go. Be, well, we'll take this color green for change. We're gonna play on normal. Or we're gonna play on hard. I guess we're gonna play on hard. Why the hell not? We'll play on hard. There we go. Alright. Guten Tag. I am Hendrik von Staudingen, the mayor of Ulm. Oh god, look at the teeth. The teeth. Amazing. Your company has been chosen to participate in the construction of Ulm's transportation network. I hope you won't let me down. Me neither, man! And here's our first mission. Let's get this show on the road. A new amusement park is opening in Ulm. There is money to be made here. So build two new bus lines for the visitors. Wunderschnitzel. Alright, so let's have a look. Two bus lines, basically, doesn't really matter where they go. They don't have to go anywhere. So, I'm thinking this is the railway station of Ulm. Uh, what we could do is get a bus line up there and run it like um, right side of road as we usually do. Make it work. I think that's a good idea. Could do a tram line, but I don't like that. I like bus lines better in this particular scenario. This is the uh, the actual uh, the actual thing where we're going. Uh, but yes, um, let's see how we fare. Kind of thinking. Problem is, it's all one-way roads. Look at it. Holy shit! can't get anywhere in this damn town. Oh, that's just mean. Okay, well that's fine. That's actually not bad. We'll simply just go over here. Try to avoid all the, um, well, as much as we can anyway. All of the, uh, the, the sort of the, 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 the crossings here. Because the crossings are probably our main concern. We don't want to do the crossings. At all, if at all possible. So I guess the train station, beautiful train by the way. Look at this. This is a real German train. Look at that. Um, it's probably our best bet of getting a lot of customers. So we'll do that. But that means, obviously, that we need to get that bus line set up. So let's get a bus line set up like this. Here we go. And I am kind of tempted to pick up here is a regular bus line yeah let's make that a regular bus line down here and then another like a comfortable bus line thing down here and then we'll sort of veer off to there to this part and then through this area we head back up but we'll make that a regular stop just a regular one There we go, and um, maybe one over here, for the sake of fun, like 
over here. They overlap a little bit. That could become an issue. Then again, who are we to shy away from a little challenge, right? Alright, add a stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back. So I guess we'll need about, I don't know, three vehicles, two vehicles. The Bismarck 36. Take a lot of people. Let's just start with one. Open that one up. There we go. So that's one. Line number one. Which actually stops at the amusement park. Do we have any more train stations near Ulm? Uh, we have the... Uh, no. Don't think so. A little palace or a hospital here. Okay. Cool. Department store. The hotel. Hmm. It's a small map. That's the challenge, of course. It's a small map. And making it work is really the challenge. This is a very long line for just a bus. Hmm. I'm looking for... Basically, I'm looking for circles or ways to uh, create circles. Uh, that sounds really, really strange. But what I mean is, what you want to do... To make a bus line really, really work, is get it to um, go through an area where you can make a perfect, well, circle line without too much interruption of the line. Like this, this is horrible. Look at all the crossings here. You don't want to go and put a bus line there. It's, it's not going to work very well. Uh, you want to put a bus line in where you you have something like we discovered here, a little back road that doesn't have too much trouble to it. Um, and I'm just gonna check where we find this sort of back road. See, this is sort of an interesting one. We could go over here and then take two cross. No, one crossing. It would be. Hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Difficult. Very difficult and also very, very crowded. It's gonna be so crowded here, it's not funny anymore. It's simply not funny anymore. This is already a pretty long line, by the way. Um, hmm. I think we have very little choice, though. If we wanna avoid this clusterfuck over here. Uh, and this, by the way. We don't wanna go down there either. Um, as much as I like playing with trams. I don't think I'll play with trams on this one. Um, I'm going to put it like right there. It's going to be one of the busiest stops. There we go. And just regular stops. Um, as much as possible. Over here. It's not going to be like a perfect line. Uh, but... Um, Okay, we need another one of those luxury stops over here. Somewhere like there. We want to keep to the right side of the road as much as possible. We're going to cross here, which is a stupid mistake. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, at all. I guess what I could do is send it over all the way over here. I'm going to have to go through that little broad section. I don't like that. I do not like that. And overlapping with other points as well. That's going to be so bad. But it's not really a choice at the moment. Not anymore. Alright, so we'll do this. If it, if it doesn't work out, we simply get rid of the line. So there you have it. Add stop. This one, no wait, start here, start at the stupid one, <laughs> and over here, and over here, because if we add buses to this, if we ever were to add buses to this, this will work a lot better, manage vehicles, get one in there, open the line up, and say thank you for the music, no don't delete the line, <laughs> we'll just make that mistake. 
There we go. We got some of our money back already. Wunderbar. Let's keep the money flowing in. Well, I don't know, buddy. Oh, yeah. And we also need to do this. I always forget. There we are. Friendly faces everywhere. And let's not play for the upkeep as much. 15% is also fine, but 20% makes them a little bit less cranky. So there we go. And we have very friendly prices right now. The ticket prices are pretty much in the greens, which means they won't be, you know, bad. Or as bad. gone to sleep which is perfect I think we're about 10 minutes in and I'm gonna just say that continue for another 15 in this one oh look there's people waiting neat we're gonna make money guys at least we're gonna make money this bus is slow wow I did not anticipate that the Bismarck 36 that may become an issue. Yeah, it will become an issue. Especially on that longer line. Let's get one more in. On that line, immediately. That line is pretty long. Not making any money yet. But we will eventually. Money is being made. Yay! Money! Running costs are zany though. We're gonna see that in a few seconds. We're gonna lose money just for operating. Yep, there we go. Well, not as bad. Not as bad as it could be. I'm confident we'll do do fine. Okay, that one picked up the peepers. Nice. Not sure why I made a stop there. Nobody's ever gonna get up there. Alright, well, he seems to be picking up. I like it. I'm glad to see that work. Huh. Did not expect that to work as well. And we actually made mo our money back already, I think. Oh wait, we've got a new uh, thing down there. Whoopsie daisy. Guten Morgen, as you may have heard. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do accents again. A new school of design will be opening in Ulm. Needless to say, the students will require some public transportation. I'll... Okay. Build a bus line to the school of design and transport 20 passengers. That as interesting because we've got a bus line there now don't we doesn't it count tell me it counts I'll... apparently it doesn't count son of a bitch okay and what if we build a whole new line now on the existing um, infrastructure Create a new ride. Mm. We'll do the exact same one, basically. There we go. Hello students, welcome to the Jubilee Blim. <laughs> there we go. Mix it up a little, you know. Activate line. I hope it counts. I'm not sure though. Yep, it counts. Okay, great. Good coverage. Well, that remains to be seen.
Okay, we will rename this one the student line, so I know when to get rid of it. No student liner, sure, why not? Your student's lines of Hans and Stoffi. Hans and Stoffi had a statue here. I have no idea who Hans and Stoffi are. No idea, probably some ruler. Uh, how much money are we losing slash making? Minus 17, that's actually not bad. All things considered. Oh, goodness me. Can't have any of that. Let's make it more attractive to take the bus. There we go. Alright, so we've got a couple of buses operating here. I'm wondering how fast this thing is. It might actually get into trouble with this thing. Ooh, alright, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it will, actually. <laughs> it's gonna be stuck behind the other one. <laughs> There we go. I'm picking up one student. Lulz. I should have just used the other type of bus. This is stupid. Then again, it might actually be better than this one. We'll see. We will have to see. Okay, yeah. We will have to see. These Berliners are really, really slow. They pick up people, but they're so slow. My God, they are slow. <laughs> All right. Well, so far, so good. Everyone get on the damn bus. Move. How's the other line doing? Eh, not fantastic, but I wouldn't say terrible. Should have gone for all blims. That would have been fucking funny. And probably a lot more uh, cost effective too. Just realized. Let's see if what the uh, income of these lines is. Can we... Uh, See that? Yes, we can. The blim has made no money. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. And this one is basically leeching off the other one, so that makes sense. Six twenty. Fifteen has already been transported. Yeah, doing okay. It's not terrible. Of course, the. Um, I think this tallies after the month ends. And then tries to take into account the whole kind of... Uh, yeah, there we go. Just counts per month from the moment you activate it. it, it uh, that's what I think. We're doing okay. I wouldn't say perfect, but okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna drop to, into the minus pretty heftily here, I think. After March 31st. I highly doubt we're gonna do well. Yeah, we're losing money. Not only slightly. It's not that terrible. We can make this profitable. Yet. Oh, this is the reason. Our reputation is fucked. Okay, well... Up our prices a little bit. People know us now, you know. Get them to pay for the good price for the I mean for the good service. Those Jubilee blims though. Chance of breakdown 35%. That's terrible. Stand back of Uban. Ow. 
15%. Jubilee Carrier, 25%. Yeah, this thing is slow. Holy shit, I just noticed. And this thing is 55. 75 for the Jubilee Blim. 85 for this thing, the Pablo. But it has such a high breakdown chance. It's not fun anymore. We're not gonna use the modern stuff. That wouldn't be fair at this uh, moment in time in 1956. It's just, it breaks immersion, in my opinion. Unless you're playing like Tokyo or something. Then you could have super duper interesting stuff going on, but yeah. Okay, we've got a new mission. Yeah. We have. Hello, the workers have been complaining about how far the factory is from the employee apartments. As they appear to be lazy, uh, too lazy to work around, and firing them is not a viable solution. Could you please get a new another bus line, dude? Really? They live over here. They need to get over here. Yeah, we'll get our fastest Jubilee Blim connection. <laughs> no problemo. Let's get a. Let's get that done. There we go. Bam. And uh, bam. You know what? Other people can enjoy this. Bam. <laughs> kabam. And another kabam over here. Um. Well, may maybe not over here. No, that's bad. That is bad. We don't need it over here. We need it over here. Wait, look at that. Okay. Um, yeah. That's fine. This, this is it. So, create new line. The Varkas line. Let's stop. Start here. Go here. Go down here. Don't know what that is. And then over here. Then over here. And then back here. Manage vehicles, we'll put a throw in the Jubilee Blim and have them fight it out. Go. It's not really a fantastic line, but it's gonna do fairly well, I'm thinking. And we'll call this the workers line, so we know. The workers line. Okie dokie. Turn that off. And play. There we are, completed. Great job, that gave us blended. That should do the trick. I would think so. 750, we got our blim back. And hopefully it will be a somewhat efficient connection. I'm ah, I'm not uh, too confident. Usually this game doesn't give you the best missions. Uh, what about the other mission? Three passengers carried. Good, you're almost ready to get rid of this. Jubilee blims. I think we're gonna get. Um, we're just gonna get rid of this thing. Get two du jubilee blims in, then get rid of the student line thing, and uh, let that be it. Once we hit the mission, once we get it. Okay, yeah, people are gonna get in there. Okay, they're actually loading almost simultaneously. That's that's good. That's really good. Simultaneous loading. It's good. Four passengers carried. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. That 375 is gonna be ours, man. <laughs> oh god, it's not even that good. It's terrible. Are we making any money? Is the question. 89. I think that's because of our investment. It may well be. I don't know. Let's see. That's in terms of efficiency, though. Fuel consumption 6, fuel consumption 15, and its attractiveness is crap. So basically, we do ourselves a big favor if we were... You know what? We've got the money. Let's go. Line 2 is our... Um, what is it? The um, school of design line. That, I don't know. Manage vehicles. 1, 2, get rid of you. There we go. We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. And um, th I think that's way better. And I think I'm going to change line one in a similar fashion. Because quite honestly, these things are never full. Really. They're never full. And these... This is like... Well, you know. Breakdown is pretty high. You know what? We're going to go with the other one. With this one. The Pavlov. One, two... Get rid of you. Sell that. Sell that. 
and the, the rain here is pretty aggressive. Um, <laughs> did not expect that. And here we go. Pavlovs are now moving. Good. They're way faster too. So that should get us an interesting amount of passengers as well within a relatively short amount of time. Fuel consumption is also very low, which I like. Fuel consumption can really mess you up, if you will. Citizens in awe, new vehicle spotted. Uh, that's gonna draw them in like flies on a third. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you all for uh, for watching. Please continue to watch, if you will, please. Uh, in the next episode, which will be up tomorrow. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and or comment. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And see you all next time. Bye-bye.